Hey, what up guys? Law Patrol here. Um, just figured that uh, for a little bit of a nerdvana, I'd um, share with you one of my favourite cooking recipes, which is lifted from an anime movie. Uh, so today I'm going to be making my rendition of Brock's No Chew Lazy Boy Stew from Pokemon, the first movie. It is ridiculously yummy, it is mouth-watering, but it is also easy to make, and it goes down an absolute treat, particularly in winter. So, I'm going to get started. Now to get started, we have three potatoes, an onion, we need half a cup of, of chicken stock, some cream cheese, salted or unsalted butter, I choose for salted because it tastes slightly better, 300 grams of chicken, you can either use chicken breast or you can, <laughs> my little helper there, you can either use chicken breast or you can use chicken thigh like I do, I prefer chicken thigh for the flavour. Um, in regards to this we also have a stalk of broccoli and some carrots, which I need to get out of the <laughs> fridge. Um, what's that munchkin? Is that an onion? And some stock? Where's the milk? Good job. Okay, so to pre save time, I've pre-cooked the ingredients. Um, got a wok with oil over medium heat. Start the onions. And cook those till translucent. It's coming along nicely, just waiting for it to get a little bit translucent. Okay, let's have a look. Right, that should be fine. Now I'm going to add in two helping spoons. Fresh garlic. Now the recipe itself does actually call for two cloves of garlic. I use the crushed stuff because it's a little bit easier to deal with. Oops, sorry, just realised that I wasn't actually getting that on screen. Um, just wanted just to get the flavour in a little bit better. Now I'm going to cook that for about 30 seconds and then I'm going to add the chicken. Okay, and now we add the chicken. This is not easy to do one-handed. Right. Now I'm going to let that cook until the chicken browns. Okay, so that's okay. So that's simmering away quite nicely. Um, because I have modified the recipe itself slightly by using um, chicken thighs instead of chicken breast, and by using the minced garlic, the chicken does have a tendency not to quite brown as expected. Um, but it does cook through thoroughly, which is quite nice. So now, I will add in the potatoes and the carrots. And give those two or three minutes to soften. Okay, so that's been bubbling away for the last couple of minutes. Already smelling absolutely amazing. But now that the carrots and the potatoes have had a chance to soften a little bit, we're going to add two and a half cups of chicken stock, or chicken broth as most compatriots may know it. And now I'm basically just going to let that go until it reaches the boil and bring it back to a simmer. Pull that stuff in off the side, all the goodness, all this juicy deliciousness. Right. Now, now for the tricky part, I'm going to move this across to there, again so I can clean up that bit. But, now I have to start making the roux. So, I've got to melt some butter, add the flour, uh, mix in two cups of milk. Anyway, this is the tricky bit because I can't really do it one handed, so just letting you know what I'm doing. Um, I will let that come back to a simmer and hopefully the 
butter doesn't burn when I try this. Okay, so I got my butter slowly melting it. Oh no, not quite as slowly as I thought it would be. Four tablespoons of butter melting down. How's this going? It's looking quite lovely, smells amazing. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera down while I mix in the flour just because that's a bit, a bit tricky. Okay, so I've got the butter, the flour, and the milk in there, just whisking it till it starts to thicken up a little bit. Okay, now that that has thickened up a little bit, I'm going to add the cream cheese. Four, feeds, four tablespoons of cream cheese to the roux. Give lots of tablespoons. I've had to use a fork to get it out of the bowl. And yes, I've got clean hands, thankfully. Well, had clean hands. Oh crap, spilled a little. So gently stir that until the cream cheese dissolves. It becomes a nice thick roux. Okay, now that it's off the heat and it's nice and thick, um, you do have to stir it. Otherwise, you stir constantly, otherwise it will get a little bit too thick. Um, you want to basically just stir it because it will it will start off lumpy, but you want a consistency that's almost like icing for a cake. From there, we're going to add that to that. Okay, so we stir that through to combine it. No, it doesn't look like much at the moment, but it gets so much better. Oh god, the aroma coming off that is amazing. Okay, so now we will add le broccoli. that in. Now the other thing that you can do to sort of add a bit of extra flavour to this that I didn't do this time around was add some bacon, but it's not necessary. It's not strictly necessary because this is hearty and delicious all on its own. As you can see it makes quite a bit. This will do me probably for three or four days. Well, and there we have the Lazy Boy No Chew Stew. Pretty much guaranteed to satisfy a bloke or a bachelor for at least four days as it is hearty and delicious covers pretty much every one of the major food groups uh, all credit to cartoon cravings who did the original recipe as i said i have uh, made my own amendments to it but um you know if you want recipes there go give it a go it is absolutely amazing to eat and i will very much be enjoying it catch you on the flip side